Kaminsky. Yeah. Whereas this is, it's still like he always has high energy, but I feel like it's a little bit more mellow and like laid back vibe a little bit. I don't know if I'd say mellow. I think. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another Queen reaction. Today we're doing uh, the same concert that we've done two two times already uh, in Montreal in 1981. This track is Save Me. This is a recommendation from you guys. We had suggested that we might do the late Live Aid concert before we do this one. But we figured, you know what, we might as well finish up with this one first and then move on to the Live Aid after that. Yes. And I think that's a bit longer video as well. It's probably about, I think, 20 or 25 minutes, something like that. Um, so, you know, we figured we'd get a feel for some of the con some of the tracks from this concert first, then we can move on to maybe that, I don't know, I assume it's probably a couple of songs back to back to yeah, back on that I one. So, so anyway, we've really enjoyed the, the two songs that we've done so far. They've been so good. Really developed a great appreciation for Queen as a live performer, of the, yes. you know, the way that they're able to you know, take the stuff that they do obviously from a studio version and put it into a performance is really like very few people or groups out there um they are I, obviously we see why they're so renowned right you oh know, yeah they're what, incredible what they're capable of doing do, do you have a favorite if you had to pick between the two that we've done um they i don't know because they're real so different like i feel like bohemian rhapsody is, is something that i've heard before and we've done other covers of yeah. it so like it wasn't something like obviously like really taking it in was the first time i'm seeing it live but mm -hmm. it wasn't like a new song to me whereas somebody to love i feel like um was just like an all-around first experience for me and i really that was the first one that we yeah. did so i think i i really like that one the best yeah, I think out of the two, I would agree with that. Uh, yeah. You know, somebody love was just uh, so mind blowing to me, and the first yeah. time I was really introduced to his vocal live yes. and and all that. So I mean, it's a little bit biased because it was the first one. You know, yeah. it's hard to replicate the first time. Exactly. But um, I really, really did enjoy that. But um, this is going to be a completely new song for for me. I don't know Save Me at all. I don't know anything about it. So um, this is exciting because I get to hear something that I've never heard before. Have yeah. you heard this before? I don't think so. Okay, so as far as you know, Save Me doesn't sound familiar. Not at the current moment now. Okay. Um, but it might change if you hear it is what you're getting Yeah, at. I mean, sometimes there's there's songs of these groups that are really of course, popular that yeah. the name, I'm like, oh, I don't know, and then we'll start to listen yeah, to it, course. and I'm like, I do recognize But as, that. as of this current moment right now, this is a new song, new song for both of yes. us. Yes. All right, cool. I mean, you'd probably be more familiar with the Queen stuff than I would be, but um, either way, this is out before both of us are born. Yes. So that's why this is new for us. But nonetheless, we've really appreciated our introduction to Queen, and we yes. want to see what else we're going to have here, so let's get it going. Back with the Superman shirt. Brian's going to play piano in a minute. When he gets to it. This is from an album called The Game. It's called Save Me. It started off so well. He said we made a perfect plan I clothed myself in your glory and love How I loved you, how I cried Years of care and loyalty With nothing but a sham it seemed
He's so good. Like his vocal is just amazing. And <laughs> <laughs> his vocal is amazing. And yeah, give me some like more. What else this, are you feeling about this one? I feel like this is a different vibe than the other two that we've done. Like I feel like the other two were both like really high energy. Yeah. Whereas this is, it's still like he always has high energy, but I feel like it's a little bit more mellow and like laid back vibe a little bit. I don't know if I'd say mellow. I think he's. He's coming with it. He's still killing it. it, but yeah. I just mean like the the like rhythm of the song isn't as high energy. I, I think the messaging in the song is a little bit different, yeah. and that's probably what I would concur with you in saying. I think I know what you mean <laughs> in terms of being mellow. I think it's just that the delivery of the message is a different feel for a song, and it's it's more of a heartfelt song. You know, um, he seems like he's giving a lot of motion in this song yeah. with his performance and his vocal and in these different ranges that he's adding. And a lot of, like I said, when he's coming in with these harder vocals, it's like <clears throat> he's delivering a message using his, his you know, his toolbox of his voice yeah. um, in doing that. And um, so I just think, well, like sometimes, like if you say mellow, it I might think more be... the instrumentation, like, isn't as yeah. hard in this. I'm just saying when you say mellow, I think sometimes that's going to be like, oh, let's just chill out and, like, you know, like, have a cool, chill vibe, and let's be, you know, out in Jamaica, relaxing on the beach, you know. Okay, that's well, mellow. Not that much. That's then, my version of mellow. Yeah, okay, well, I meant this is this one is just more laid back than the other two, in my personal opinion. Okay. But I, mostly from the instrumentation side. Not his vocal. His vocal is still really strong. Yeah. But I would say more of, like, the instrumentation, it's not as, there's not as many highs and lows, and, like, it's not as intense as the other two. Fair enough. For me, I think that the way I view this one is... Um, you know, like uh, the the drums are really hard. Like the con they're very prominent for me, and the drums and the p piano are leading the way here alongside of his vocal, of you know him talking about save me kind of thing, and um, that those things are you know the piano itself is I think contributing to a lot of the emotion in the song to create more of a um, like it's still it's still got definitely got that Queen feel to it. Yeah, it does. For um, sure. You know. Like, obviously, the one song I know from them is, like, the We Are the Champions mm -hmm. uh, song. And, like, I can hear the remnants of that and yeah. his vocal and the way he's, like, you know, coming out with his peaks in the vocal a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing like that in terms of the song overall. But anyways, we'll rewind it a little bit to make sure that we don't miss out on anything. Get the build up.
uh, they finished with a finale of a lot of instrumentation after yeah, it was picked up a, lot. a little more stripped down in the beginning. A lot of uh, intensity throughout, though, nonetheless, with his his vocal. Um, you know, great performance as well. And, you know, he's the first person I, I, I've ever seen. I don't think I, I can rec- remember anybody else that, like, has that, like, stand piece on with the mic like he has his microphone and the cord but then he has the stand as mm-hmm. well but it's not like a full stand so it's like I've never really seen that before yeah I don't really know like why I maybe it's just his preference yeah I mean I, I don't know if there's a reason for it or if it's just he, he, like you said he prefers to have it there and that adds more stabilization to the yeah, microphone maybe. or something like that sure. um, but in itself I think like you know it's a it's a great song and and the song itself, the composition of it's great. Mm-hmm. Um, the vocals are obviously outstanding. Guitar solo was outstanding. Yeah. Nice piano in there. Um, and then, I like what he saw on the piano. Yeah, I mean, that was the first time we saw the other group member playing the piano as well in the beginning, right? Which was cool. Yeah. And like I said, I thought the drums were prominent for me the whole way through. And um, I, I like the the rhythm and the melody that it kind of captured, you know, adding, like I said, the highs and lows with his voice. And so overall, I thought it was a great song. Yeah, me too. I love when they did the little drum tour where they like build up and they were like, Poof, and then he came in on the piano. <laughs> and uh, so now we've done three from Montreal, and I think we're ready to move on to Live Aid. And uh, I think, you know, you guys have given us some recommendations in the comments there. So I think we've got the video ready to go. You know, you told us there's one not to do because it cut off the last song. So we're going to try to avoid that one. Yes. So we appreciate all those comments that we're recommending uh, what direction we should go into because we, uh, we appreciate when, when that we get the good advice because when we get the bad <laughs> advice, all we get is bad comments saying, yes. oh, you guys screwed up. So, so yes. we appreciate that in advance. All right. Well, that's it from us today. We'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.